Business Radio. This is Chris Deacon, your host. We're glad to have you with us this morning. We had a little technical difficulty there. I must be something that somebody's added on that I haven't noticed somewhere. Uh, but in, in our studio today, we have two great people with two great companies that, just got you, that you are going to want to know about. We're going to, we have Louis Agudo with, uh, it's a great day for Business Inc. And it is a great day for Business Inc., isn't it? It is a great day. Every day is a great day. Chris. No better time to be in business than right now. Absolutely. And we also have Jeff Waller, who is a software development company in the educational field. And we'll be talking to him about uh, his company, Accent Corporation, and Seven Minds. Seven mindsets? Seven mindsets. Seven yes. mindsets. Seven I haven't mindsets. got a mind, so I have some problems with this case. That's but, okay. But, uh, <clears throat> but one of the things that we do want, we want to do is give everybody a chance to tell the stories because they've got some great things they're doing. And I want to start with you, Lewis, if you can. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, tell us, tell us a little bit about it's a great day for business, what you do, and who you work with. Oh, it's a great day for business, Inc. You know, this came about with a collaboration with my business partner, Randall Phillips. And about almost two years ago, we met at a meetup. I was giving a talk to a group of individuals about credibility. And we formed a friendship after this meetup, and he came up with an idea to have a video show. And this video show was an interview show that we would do at this meetup, and it was roughly every two weeks, I would interview someone. And I would interview a business leader, We'd have a video of this. We'd have a unique URL on YouTube that this individual would be able to use to market to their, to their, uh, 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 to their consumers out on uh, LinkedIn, use it on email, use it on uh, uh, Facebook, however they chose to use it. And it was effective. And every two weeks we did that. And that meetup kind of dwindled down. The, the organizer didn't want to do it anymore. So we ended up, he ended up taking it to another, another route. And that was by doing this show called It's a Great Day for Business Atlanta. We met every two weeks and it was a 90 minute show. And we'd video the whole show and we'd have people come in and be able to give an info minute, have it videotaped, and then put it on, and we'd put it on YouTube. Then it was, they'd have their own unique U, URL and be able to use it for marketing purposes. Um, and, and this transformed over a year of doing this. We just had our one year anniversary show this past January. And, and since then, now we're transforming it into it's a great night for business and more of a social networking and meeting people and, and letting people know that there are options out there that they, can, that they can do that are different than the ordinary ways of going about business. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. You know, you know, what is your background? How did you come to uh, you know being a personality on, on YouTube? Well, you know, I think I've always had a personality, but that would <laughs> be up could for, never, we could never tell. <laughs> that'd be up for people to decide. Um, you know, my, my story is, you know, I, I I'm from New York. I was born in Queens, moved out to the East End of Long Island at an early age, and and started a business. I went to college and. It just didn't work out for me. So I ended up working for a, a builder. I learned how to be a craftsman. I worked for him for five years, and at the age of 22, I had an opportunity to start my own business. And I did. And I started, a, I, started I called it Woodworks. And what it was, was it was uh, uh, renovation work, a little uh, building of furniture, things like that. And before I know it, I just kept getting work. People just kept hiring me. No reason why, except that I did the credible things that a lot of business over owners fail to do. When someone calls you, guess what? You call them back. Someone emails you, guess what? You email them back. When you tell someone you're going to do something at a certain time, you do it. And it's amazing how many business owners take that for granted. Just the basics. Just the basics. And that's what I do a lot of, or teaching individuals, you know, are you doing the basics you need to do? And uh, how, how is that history and what you did there and what you learned there you know, played into what you do now? Well, it's really interesting because, you know, after being in, in that business for over 20 years, back in 2005, I moved here. I moved here at the time I was married, we had children, and the reason we moved here was for no other reason than a change. 
then a change. We didn't have to make